The Honourable Member from Brantford Brent. Mr. Speaker, after nine years of these NDP Liberals, taxes are up, costs are up, crime is up, and now time is up. Since 2015, violent crime has surged by 50 per cent, shockingly, sex assaults by 74 per cent. Today, the parole board inexcusably granted day parole to a serial rapist who still poses a risk to drug, manipulate and coerce victims. Let that sink in. This is not keeping Canadians safe. Who on that Liberal bench approves of this? The Honourable, uh, member, the Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, my colleague knows very well that the Parole Board, by law, operates independently from the government. Our responsibility is to ensure that the appropriate men and women serve on the Parole Board, something we have done with great seriousness. They know that the most important criteria in terms of an independent decision made by this quasi-judicial tribunal is public safety. My colleague knows that very well, and he should be careful not to increase public cynicism in a way that doesn't serve public safety. He knows very well that's incorrect. The Honourable Member for Charlebourg, Haute Saint Charles. Mr. Speaker, the Liberals have weakened the criminal code, and now crime is moving out of Montreal and is becoming tentacular everywhere in Quebec. Let's not forget, the Bloc voted for the Liberal government's bill allowing criminals to be arrested and released twice in the same day sometimes. Can the Liberal government and its Bloc friends tell us why they made such a mistake? The Honourable Minister for Justice and Attorney General of Canada. Mr Speaker, with regards to release on bail, what we did is that we changed the rules with the support of all parties in this House. We also increased penalties for certain crimes, like car theft. But with regards to the provisions, this is a decision made by justices in our country who are appointed by provincial governments. Appeals decisions are made by provincial Crown Prosecutors. The Honourable Member for Charlebourg saint charles Mr Speaker, does the Minister recognise that changes through C5, C75, C83, does he recognise that criminals are no longer scared of anything? Crime is exploding throughout Quebec. A 14-year-old died in bus, shots have been fired in Quebec City and in the Saguenay an increase in crime. Will the government recognise their mistakes and bring back the criminal code to what it was? The Honourable Minister for Justice and Attorney General of Canada. Just to be absolutely clear, when a decision is made, it is made by a provincially appointed justice. An appeals decision is also made by an attorney no, appointed by a province. When a decision is made to see if there's enough place in prison to welcome someone, that is a decision made by provincial governments, like the government of Quebec. In three words, speak to Legault. 